Hi, hello, welcome back. This is uh, Bioenergetics with me, Devaraj, and today we're going to do some bioenergetic interval training. Uh, the new name I've got for what I used to call the workouts, and uh, essentially because they are interval training workouts using relatively short ding tracks, lengths of time to do each posture, and there's a sense of flow. Uh, this workout is going to be quite intense for most people, so it is not really a beginner's thing. If you want to do it and you are a beginner, then start with a low time length and when we get to some of the more intense bits, working with the belly and the lower back, then feel free to uh, bail, you know, don't, don't, don't overdo it, don't overdo it, you're working with very vulnerable and uh, intense areas of the body. Particularly today we're going to be working around, not only, but mostly around the belly, you know, around the lower back and around a little bit in the pelvic area as well, the pelvic floor and uh, with a series of 10 postures, basically. And what makes it intense is that really the belly and the lower back are probably the most intense areas to work in the body. But if you don't work from at some point in your journey, you know, massive, a, a lot will be missing in you psychologically, emotionally. You know, these are the two, the, in terms of the ego's orientation, these are the areas that it's most trippy about. You know, a lot of people uh, bloat their belly out you know, other people put a lot of tension in their belly. You know, I tend to do a little bit of both. And the lower back is where, you know, where this is the primary dumping area of repressed emotions, repressed feelings, traumatic stuff from childhood. So we're, we're going into these areas, which is important over the course of your development. But, you know, you've got to pick when to do it. So what I'm saying is, don't feel too bad if it feels a little bit too much. We're not going to do an actual interval training in this, um, in this video. I might do one later, but I'm going to demonstrate the 10 postures that you're going to use. And you've got to cycle between them fairly quickly, fairly quickly. The first posture is the bow posture. Ah, wait a minute. We're going to need some equipment for this one. The main thing you're going to need is a sofa, like this sofa, or a bioenergetic stool. And if you're going to use a sofa, it has to be one that's fairly solid. You know, this is a pretty solid old sofa. The cat's got it a little bit, but that doesn't matter. And it needs to have a back that is about, you know, like hip height on you, something like this, because you're gonna be leaning over, I don't need to demonstrate that, but yeah. In addition to the sofa, you're also gonna need, or a bioenergetic stool, you can look back in my videos and see how to make a bioenergetic stool. It's a really, really handy thing to use every now and again. In addition, you're gonna use one of these, a foam roller, for rolling out the belly at a certain point. Sometimes called a yoga roller, you can usually get them online for a few pounds, a few dollars if you don't have one, it's very handy. And a yoga mat rolled up quite tight as a bolster. If you're doing this on a relatively uncomfortable floor, you might want to have a second yoga mat to lie on, uh, rolled out. Okay, so let's get to these 10 postures, which I've been working with for some time. And, uh, you know, this, this, this is a very powerful workout. It integrates a lot of stuff all around the place. And if you do it on a daily basis, it's going to move a lot. I would advise to try it on a one minute ding to start with and do three repetitions as ever. Three reps is good. And if, you, you know, if you're getting along easy with it and you want to do more, you can either increase the ding up to a minute and a half. I wouldn't go much beyond that. Or you can increase the number of reps, add another rep. You know, it's going to clear a lot over time. Okay, first posture, the bow. You're used to it if you've been following my channel. But basically, feet quite close together, about 30 centimeters apart, outsides of your feet roughly parallel. I have a little ankle injury, so I do it a little bit different. Pressing your pelvis forwards, your arms right up high, then back behind the ears, but your head vertical. So your body's in this bow shape, like an archer's bow, but your face is pointing forwards. Eyes open. Breathe and feel your body. That's the first minute. Second pose, you bring your hands down to the floor and we go into bear crawl. That is one hand of the opposite leg moving forwards and backwards. This activates your belly, gets your breathing going a bit. If you're confident, you can kind of bear jog a little bit. Pose number two, bear crawl. Pose number three, Coming to the dog pose, and we're actually gonna we're gonna stretch into the dog, which is heels off the floor but straight legs, arms straight, 
pressing the heels down on the out breath. And in this minute that you're doing this pose, sometimes come into a lion, which is coming down into your toes and your heels, sorry, your toes and your palms. Stick your tongue out and roar, lean forwards like, ah, 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 and then back into a dog. So it's just one stage, but you're doing two exercises. Do a couple of these, ah, ah, and the minute that you're doing it. Fourth pose, we come up and we're going to start to work on the lower back, going over. Take your feet a little distance apart from the sofa and lean back, stretching with your arms back. This exercise, you can make it more intense by having the fulcrum, the point of balance, further down towards the ass. If you don't want it so intense, that's good also then you can bring it more towards the mid-back. Breathe into this exercise, eyes open. You might find your belly fighting a little bit, you kind of pull up with the belly tension. It's good to follow that. At some point, the belly will surrender. Keep your toes on the floor. At the end of one minute, come out of that. You're doing this wrong to a ding. Come out slow, but also moving. Come round, pick up your yoga roller. Sorry, come round, pick up your yoga mat, rolled up. And come back into this posture like this. With your soles of your feet together, the yoga mat balancing in the mid back, or in the lower back rather. Knees apart, rest of your body relaxed. And then, next posture, I've lost count now, but I think this is the sixth posture. You're gonna move the yoga mat under your tailbone, arms and head relaxed, stretch your feet right up. So you want them straight, and you want them at right angles to the body. Men in particular tend to hold a lot of tension, so straighten those legs, hold a lot of stuff in the backs of the legs. It's not well recognized in body work, but there's a shit ton there often. So really try and straighten your legs, you might get vibration, allow that. And then the seventh posture will be spreading those legs. You've done this before in some other 10 position release. Alexander Lowen workout, keeping your tailbone on the mat. Keeping the other two stretches going. And then we come round to the eighth posture. Now we're going to use the yoga roller for the next two postures. Take your yoga roller and lie over it so it's right in the middle of your belly and surrender over with your head facing right or left, it doesn't really matter. Breathe and feel into this. The yoga roller will put pressure inside your belly. At the end of one team, all you do is lift up a little bit and move your head. So you now face left. Or right if you were facing left before. Ninth posture. This can be very intense. If it's too much for your belly, respect that. Go in more gently. You can even do it with a rolled up yoga mat to start with. And the tenth posture, you slowly come up, take the weight off your belly, and go into the arch pose. Leaning forwards. For one ding, and then back up, and you go around two more times. Let's go around one more time, just to make sure you got it. So, first pose would be the bow. Come along with me if you want. Second pose, animal crawl, bear crawl. 
One hand on the opposite foot. Don't go too fast until you've really got it down pat. Third pose, dog interspersed with lion. So pressing back and then. Ah, ah, ah. Times out, pressing back and. Ah, ah. Fourth pose, we're going to go up and over using our sofa or our bioenergetic stool. Oh, leaning back over it. back up and the fifth pose taking our roll up yoga mat placing it under the lower back lying back diamond leg posture soles of your feet together knees wide breathe and feel your body relax over the mat sixth pose lift your tailbone up move the yoga mat under Stick your legs up towards the ceiling. Straighten your legs and keep them at 90 degrees to your body. And then stretch your legs wide. Seventh pose. Triple stretch now. Eighth and eighth and ninth posture, back with the yoga mat. Head one direction, when you hear the ding, just shift the head to the other direction. And then with the ding, you come up and you go around one more time. To complete, make sure you get some downtime. Lying on your floor, sitting, whatever. If there's a lot of trembling bit in your legs, you can do a little bit of release at the end, such as lying on the floor, knees up, feet together, gently let the knees separate, not pushing, and see if a kind of, yeah, like a little bouncy shake comes in there. Something like that. It's different for each individual. When you get used to looking for it, you'll find out how your legs release like this quite easily. But give yourself some downtime. If you do a little bit of bouncy release, then make sure you do some time at the end, you know, stretch out, just let go, five, ten minutes. Really just relax, don't charge into doing something straight away. Okay guys, that's a great workout for your belly, your lower back. Like I say, if it was really intense and a bit much, then respect that, respect your body. You know, it's not about your mind pushing your body. You can do it on a lower time length. If the belly's a bit much with a yoga roller, try it with the foam mat. And if that's still too much, respect that, respect that. You can work individually with some of these exercises. If the lying over the back is too much, you know, do it a little bit to start with, more in the mid back, in the mid back. Respect your body and take gradual steps and you will get there. Okay guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is a great workout. It's a really strong workout for your whole body. Ideal to do in the early morning. Check it out. Let me know in the comments how you get on. Speak to you later.